been a really long time. Welcome back. Uh, I know I haven't been posting in like three weeks since orientation and I still haven't finished the MIL vlogs. I will edit those eventually, I promise. It is Friday, the 14th of September. I'm super excited today. The reason I haven't been like vlogging or posting is because I've been trying to get a handle on college first. I feel like I kind of have. I've got that sense of how things go and that I'm settled in and things like that. So now I can vlog again. Currently in my dorm room. Today is really excited. 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 Ugh. Today is really exciting. I'm gonna be vlogging all weekend. It's um, alumni weekend, so there's gonna be a bunch of alumni here. What's mostly exciting is I have two master classes that I'm going to. One is for comedic acting, and the other one is just for like acting in general. The first one is by the cast of Murder for Two. They're phenomenal. I went to see their show. I've seen their show twice at um, Musical Theater Finger Lakes Festival, and it was amazing. It's two people, and it's a murder mystery, and one guy plays the detective, and the other guy plays all the other suspects. So he is changing from character to character back and forth all the time and he has to memorize like 12 or 13 different characters. It's so hilarious. I was laughing the whole show both times that I saw it. The guy who plays all the suspects is coming to do a comedy masterclass for all us college students. The detective is doing a choreography one, but I'm not going to that one because I have the second acting one. Oh yeah, later today, my friend Derek. Hi everyone, this is Derek, my new friend. He, his girlfriend is coming to the college today and she is going to be surprising him. So uh, I obviously haven't told him about it. And so she, we've been like texting back and forth and figuring things out. She's gonna get here like 5.30, 5.45 ish. And that's it for today. So yeah, we're all set. Oh, also, uh, the Appalachian Trail decided to show up on my face. We just watched a 9-11 video that literally has me sniffling. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, I wiped away my tears, but I was, I lost it. I'm not in focus. Vlogging. This is Derek Atwater Me? in his natural habitat. I can't focus because I'm holding my food. <laughs> so my camera is not in focus. So I might like really zoom it. Yeah. Well, now you're really close. Okay, hey, so we have a master class with the cast of Murder for Two. Hey, everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh, you are not in focus. Oh, uh, there we go. I like Thank you. So what is your opinion of Murder for Hi, Two? Derek. Hi. <laughs> Every <Just> day. <laughs> Literally every Didn't day. I, wa I waved to him, right? Yeah, you did. I was like, hey. And they like no one said anything to me. <laughs> So then it, it was literally like a moment that they just realized who I was, and then they waved to me. Everyone on campus, da uh, I said David, Derek is the new big man on campus in terms of like theater, and everyone's like, Derek, and he's like, I don't know who you are, but hello. <laughs> Okay guys, so I had the master classes and they were so great. Well first we just sort of talked about some rules of comedy and like why certain things work. We talked about the rule of three if you know what that is. And then we did a fun game where he like made a sound and a movement and we had to pass it around really quickly and then once it's gone all the way around the next person changes it and it got really goofy. We did this game where one person is in the middle and they had to start acting by themselves doing some sort of movement that show like sets the scene essentially and they can't talk and then a second person comes in and adds to it they are only allowed to say two lines each throughout that whole thing and we have to understand where they are what they're doing and what their relation is so it was really fun it got really goofy the acting one was not as hands-on it was more conversational and it was with MJ Casey he had a lot to say about the finance and being a working actor rather than like going to be famous or whatever and so he talked a lot about New York City, auditions, getting a type, things like that, uh, agents, all that stuff. And then there was a Q&A with the cast of Murder for Two. They are just amazing. And I have a clip of that, so I'm going to put that in there right now. Um, have either of you ever covered multiple tracks while doing a show? And if you have, what's your approach to the rehearsal process? I have not. I have. That was like back in the early I was like 14. The golden age. age. The golden age. We're going to cover it at 14. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 was doing, I was doing shows at this great place called Theater Works in California. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Palo Alto. Yeah. yeah, they're great. And so I was kind of, for a while, I, I covered like every teen or like kid role. Man, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> 
crap. Have separate binders. Yes. I've seen my swings do that. It's, a, it's immersive. You have yeah. to be able to immerse in that total track as if you were learning it as your principal track, and then the second one, and then up to the third. Use your stage manager, too, Yeah. because they have access to, to the charts where everyone's placed. Mm -hmm. They have access to everything. Yeah. Use them. And if you ever get cast as a swing or a standby or something, don't ever feel like, oh, man, yeah. I didn't get the, the principal role. Right. No, oh my god, you're the only person who can do all of this. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. That's a crazy skill. You are probably one of the most valued people in the room. And that's kind of a tough lesson to learn. When I started doing the Murder for Two tour, I was the understudy for like six months. And I was like totally bummed out. Yeah. You know, because you have to watch and you have to take notes. And it's like, but never forget like how much people are trusting you. Uh -huh. to do that. And it's a way harder job yeah. to learn a show from behind a table yeah. and then have to go do it and, and like save the day. That takes like huge Especially a show like that. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Kill me. Yeah. 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 Kill me. Just kill me now. Just kill me now. <laughs> Send me now. People, in, especially on Broadway tours and Broadway, casting directors will cast, will bring people into the room if they see a swing on their resume. I think You'd just be surprised at how many opportunities there are. You just kind of have to get out and go for them. So you can see some of the things that they said, and they were amazing and so funny and just so happy and such an inspiration. Um, now I am waiting outside the Arts Center, and I'm waiting for Bella, who is Derek's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, she's on her way. I'll be with her in the next clip. Well, I told my school I had a dentist appointment anyway, so like, yeah. it adds up. Yeah. I'm gonna walk through, see if people real quick with a camera point at myself. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is Bella. This is Derek's girlfriend. Wait, let's go this way. <laughs> and she's gonna surprise him. I'm so excited. I'm getting this on film. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm so anxious. You're anxious? You think he's gonna be mad that you like didn't Not tell him? That. I don't even know why. It's yeah. just anxiety all over. It's just nervousness. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I got on the plane, I was like, and then I knocked out. <laughs> and then I was good when I was asleep. Yeah. Derek, it's me. I have a surprise. Derek, I have a present for you. Just give me a second. Oh. Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> give me one second, Ma. <laughs> First off, let me put a shirt on. <laughs> Ma, do you know about this? <laughs> How are you here? I've known about it for about two weeks. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're so cute! How are you? I'm good. So you got out of school just to come here? Yeah. Did you? How did you get here? A plane. A pl oh, so you took a plane. Where, is your mom? Your mom? <laughs> She's in the hotel. Oh, this is too cute. I can't. Oh, wow. Derek, thoughts? Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm gonna go back to my dorm. Okay. Bye. I could tell because I was like. This was thing is freaking huge. Look how huge this thing is. Jeez. Derek, how tall are you? Me? Yeah. 6'3". Si okay, he's 6'3". This is a big ass plant. That's all I'm saying. And this thing is giant too. They're so freaking cute. Hello. He's like, stop looking at my ass. <laughs> Oh, he walked no, away. <laughs> He's like, nope, denied. How do you think they feel living next to like a bunch of dead horses? Um, that that has to be I like. Feel like I mean, they probably don't know. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I was happy about that. Hello, Sebastian. Welcome to Sebs. Ryan Gosling like with the white. She lines up the shot. There you go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that was so set up. And he was so cocky about it, too. Well, how was I cocky in any way? <laughs> you were like, please, no, please like explain. I'm going to get it. When did I say that? <laughs> when he was like, Brittany literally makes me out to be like the worst person. You're not the worst like, person. <laughs> That was so freaking scary. These are 
Interesting. Yeah. These are just like ground ones. Yeah, these are ground ones. You think they're gonna do any really cool ones? Probably. I hope <gasps> Except for the fact that there's a tree right there. Freaking tree. They're gonna land on me. I think they actually might, because the what? wind. Go home. Yeah. I'm getting ash on you. I know. Yeah, it's, it's, too. it's literally raining on us. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. I'm glad I got in These are literally like some of the best fireworks I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, literally. These aren't, these aren't that good. <laughs> Go to like New York City during like 4th of July. Go to China during Spring Festival. Woo! China, China. Hey.